If I begin to think about that, then I will not even share any content at all. Thinking about whether this content that I am creating with the imperfection that is attached even to the video. What's up guys? Welcome to The Journey. I'm your host, Olufemi Chris. I don't know, maybe this will be maybe the fifth or sixth take in trying to make this video. Why am I saying that? Now, the reason why I said that is creating content, it's not easy as it's opposed, you know, to be when you begin to see content creators online, both on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and wherever you may find content creators, you know, sharing or deploying their content to. But the truth of the matter is, it takes a whole lot of time and effort just to create content to share with people. And for me, I'm like I said, maybe this is the fifth take I'm having on this video right now. And um, starting with the idea of imperfection, you know, is a good way to start for me because I don't want to start perfect. I can't be perfect in everything. My video can be perfect. My audio can be perfect. And even the lightning can be perfect. But the truth is, you just have to start creating something. Even your content, the write-up for your content might not even be that perfect. But you can grow along the way. And that's just life. You keep growing. You can't remain the same person you are when you started creating content. If you look at the likes of some popular content creators, and go far back to when they started out, you realize that even some of the video they started sharing compared to the video they are sharing now, there is a huge difference, you know, in quality, in the creative side to the video. There is, there is, there is a whole lot of difference, you know, from where they started from and where they are right now. And that's basically what I'm just saying. See. You can think about an idea and the next thing is the thought of perfection can make you cripple. The thought of perfection can make you not even to start anything. Why? Because you want to get everything right first before you take your first step. But I would say, take that first step with that imperfection. Why? Because as you grow in your journey, you begin to realize that everything that you wanted to be perfect as at when you wanted to start start falling into place why because you have taken the first step in convincing yourself that you don't have to start perfect that perfection comes as you begin to grow and that is how life is for everybody nobody ever start anything perfect Everybody started with one little imperfection or the other. So stop getting the idea that you need to start perfect. You can't be perfect. Nobody is perfect. But you can start with that imperfection in your mind. And begin to carve out every form of imperfection that you don't like, the things that you don't want to see, as you begin to grow, you begin to take it out one at a time. But thinking you can have it all immediately, you can't. So I have tried a couple of takes just to record one single video. And here I am feeling like, ah, will it ever make it you know, 
to the YouTube space where I want to share this particular content. If I begin to think about that, then I will not even share any content at all. Thinking about whether this content that I am creating with the imperfection that is attached even to the video will not get uploaded on YouTube. <laughs> that is a bit of perfection telling me that, oh, this thing is not good enough. Oh, you made a mistake there. You made a mistake there. No, skip it. Cut this video. Try it again. Cut it again. Try it again. And I keep trying. I'm sure that there are ideas that you keep trying every day. And rather than executing that idea, you just tear that sheet of paper, squeeze it, and you dispose it off into the dustbin and a very good idea is lying inside that dustbin why because you thought that it is not perfect enough it is not good enough a friend once told me that what makes an idea good enough is it by throwing it away or by executing it? I think you can answer that for yourself. What makes that idea that you are having currently good enough? What make me feel that this fifth video that I am recording will be good enough? Will I hit the delete button or I will hit the upload button what makes it good the delete or the upload what will make that idea good enough is that you execute it what will make this video that i'm creating right now good enough is that i hit the upload button and i'm sharing to the world rather than thinking about the imperfection that comes along with it but I'm starting the way I am. I'm starting how I need to start with all the imperfections around me. And I'm just telling myself that, hey, I need to start. Whether this video is good or not, I just need to start. I press the record button, stop the record button, head to the post-production, put some finishing touches to it, you know, render it out and hit the upload button where it is going to meet you right now. And if you're watching this video right now, that means this content has actually made it to the online space, which is YouTube and wherever else this content will be deployed. So that is a big congratulation to me that this video did not end up as a bad idea. Because the only way your idea can be declared as a bad idea is if you did not execute it. No idea is bad. You only need to execute. Take your first step in executing that idea and you will realize the endless opportunities that await you. So don't give up on that idea that you are notching in your mind, you know, that idea that you are trying to craft out, you know, in your mind. What I would say is try not to expect that you start perfect or you start big, start small, and you can begin to grow until you become big. So thank you for joining me in this episode of The Journey. I hope you've been able to pick one or two lessons from what I was able to share today. As a recap, what idea is considered bad? Is it the idea 
you throw into the dustbin or the idea you try and execute. What idea is bad? Share with me in the comment section below and let's engage together. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button and hit the notification button so that you can be one of the first to know when we drop new content 